Crater High FFA members, or Future Farmers of America, are returning now to Southern Oregon as champions. Four FFA teams from Crater High placed first in the state and went on to compete in nationals last week, where two of the four teams ranked in the top third of the nation. Newswatch 12's Randy Gore is live in the newsroom and tells us exactly where those two teams place nationally. The agricultural sales team placed ninth out of 45 teams, and the livestock evaluation team, they did even better than that. They placed third out of 47 teams. That means that they're third in the nation. <laughs> Critter High Future Farmer of America members returned to Southern Oregon victoriously Sunday afternoon. Every one of these kids have, you know, taken on a challenge and gone and, and participated in something <laughs> that maybe they had no idea about at the, at the beginning, and, and they learned a lot of valuable uh, career-related goal, um, career-related things along the way that's going to help them for the rest of their life. Four teams from Crater High FFA competed in the National FFA Convention this past week in Louisville, Kentucky. The livestock evaluation team placed third in the nation, the agricultural sales team placing ninth. Being nationally ranked is a goal these students say they've worked towards for years. We have worked day in and day out for those past three years just to get the state title. And then once we got the state title, it's like, okay, now we really got to buckle down, really got to figure out what we want to do and how we want to do it. And when we got to the Nationals, just pour our hearts into it. And we did very, very well. Redhead is a senior on the agricultural sales team. She and her team members had to take a 100-question test and give multiple sales pitches throughout the competition. We had six products that we had to know in, out, upside down, backwards, and we also had two additional products that we had to sell depending on the situation. Their advisor has been coaching FFA members at Crater High for 19 years. He says this year was unusual because not just one, but four teams from Crater High advanced to nationals. It's rewarding. You know, what do we all want to see our kids do? We want to see our kids succeed. Now that the teams are back home, they're already starting to prepare for next year's competition. The livestock evaluation team who placed third in the nation is being invited to compete in the World FFA competition. A decision on whether or not that team will go has yet to be decided. Live in the newsroom, Randy Gore, Newswatch 12.